remember to turn the music down. First two seconds, copyright claim. We're looking out the window today. It's all blurry. But good morning, I'm Mayor. And we are doing a quick vlog because I'm tired. Do I look tired? Because I'm tired. I've been so busy around the house. I worked last week a couple of crazy days grooming dogs. Some of you might know that I am a retired hairstylist, makeup artist, esthetician, and nail tech. And now I live on a mountain in the middle of nowhere and I'm driving down the mountain again. Doot, doot, ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Um, driving down the mountain on this sunny morning. It's supposed to be 74 today. I'm very excited. It is 9.34 a.m. and I am going to the dentist. It's nothing major, it's just my cleaning. I missed my cleaning last December, then I was supposed to go in January, and y'all know what happened. How come every time I'm on this part of my road, right when I'm on this part of my road, something comes up with dude? One lane road, okay, first off, I Googled, I set up my Google map, and the whole route is like, slow down, slow down, construction, slow down. So it is that time of year already. I don't like this time of year. I like when it gets warm out. I don't like this construction slowdown crap. Flagger ahead. I live on a two lane mountain road. What could they possibly be doing? Plus they're on the part of the road where there's like nothing going on up here. Unless it's something electrical or cable or something. But okay. There's signs everywhere, but I don't see a person. Maybe okay I'm still driving there's no flag or there's no person maybe they set the signs up and they're going to start at like 10 which means when I come home I'll we'll get to drive through that I might go a scenic route home I don't really want to go on 80 today which is the freeway on from um, interstate 80 nobody cares uh, <laughs> it's the freeway that runs basically from like New Jersey, New York, you know, it, it kind of 80 turns into other freeways and stuff, but basically it's the way that we can get all the way to the Atlantic Ocean and the East Coast, which is about 90 minutes away from me, or I can go all the way as far as like Indiana. I think, I think Interstate 80 just keeps going. It just keeps going and going and going like my vlogs where I talk for hours. Is this, oh, I'm getting the sniffles. Allergy crew shout out. Good morning, allergy crew. We have green, we have forsythias, we have things blooming, which means it's allergy season. I'm gonna have to do a, a makeup video called Makeup for Allergies. Okay, so I came all, down, all the way down here and there is in fact no flagger, no flaggy person. So they must have just set the signs up and they're starting at like 10 or something. I don't know. That's weird. Didn't go anywhere yesterday. So I don't know if they maybe were doing it yesterday and didn't take the signs down. They were blinded by the eclipse. So yesterday was eclipse day and hubby stayed home from work, which was really cool. But it was really weird because he was home Friday and then he stayed home yesterday. It throws off my whole mental flow of my things at home and things I do. I just remembered that I didn't brush my teeth this morning. How embarrassing. Oh my God, you guys. I'm going to the dentist and I didn't brush my teeth this morning. <laughs> what the? F oh, somebody hit a deer. Oh, that's a bad one too. Oh, I hate that. It's one of the things I hate about living in the country is people hitting animals. I, as you all know, I drive super, super careful. I'm always, uh, there's people who are like, don't film and be looking at the camera. I'm like, I'm not looking at the camera, yo. I'm, I'm like watching the road, watching the road. I do not want to hit an animal, especially, and don't say, oh, you don't care if you hit a person. No, I, I don't want to hit anything. I love my car. Let's rewind and back up. Bloop, bloop, bloop. So I was saying I was supposed to go to the dentist. Let's let's knock out everything right up front. I was supposed to go to the dentist in December. That was my second cleaning of the year. 
but dude was really sick. He was not doing well. My little um, Chinese crested boy that we lost on January 20th. We had to say goodbye to him January 20th. So December, he was just not doing well. I rescheduled that appointment two different times in December. And the problem was I couldn't leave him alone because he would, he was blind and he would get out of the bed and he couldn't find his way back into a bed. He couldn't find his way around. He was having like some canine dementia issues. So he could never be alone. We could not leave him. He would freak out. So there was quite a lot of time that I had to plan, you know, feeding him, taking care of him, setting them all up so I could run out and do something. Around that time, hubby and I didn't go on dates, date nights, didn't go anywhere. It was, I, we had cameras all over the house, the wise cams, so that I could watch him all over the house. So I'd be downstairs working in my grooming salon and I could watch him on the monitors, on the cameras. Anyway, so needless to say, <laughs> I could not just leave for two to three hours to go to the dentist. And if you're asking why it takes that long, it's about a 40 minute drive one way to get to my dentist. I do not live in an area where getting to anything is easy, really. It's just not. It should be, but it isn't. There's just no easy way to get anywhere around here. So that joke, everywhere in LA takes 20 minutes. Yeah, everywhere in the Poconos takes 40. 20 to 40. It, nowhere, except for the little places right around me, nowhere takes 20 minutes. The dog park takes like 20 to, yeah, no, not 20. Well, by the time I get him in the car. Anyway, my vet office is over a half an hour away. My dentist is about 40 minutes away. I'm going to need to get gas. Um, Town, if I want to go into town, if I want to go to Pet Supplies Plus, that's all about 22 to 25 minutes away in good traffic with no construction. But just say 30. By the time I'm going to get in my car, drive, if I have to stop and get gas, get into town. So that's why I like doing these vlogs because when I drive into town, like what the hell else I got to do? I mean, I look at the road, but mostly this is me talking to myself and you're just along for the ride. So if you're here for that, welcome. <laughs> Glad to have you in the car with me. So what else was I saying? Oh, so dentist. Yeah. So I kept rescheduling it. Then I rescheduled it for January and dude was really bad then. I'm like, absolutely not going to leave him. And I, t and they're really nice. I told them, I said, look, I have a dog that's in hospice. I have him in hospice right now. He's, I don't know how much time he has, but it's not a lot. And then we had to say goodbye to him on January 20th. Most of you who watch me regularly know all this. Sorry for the repetition. But just in case there's anyone new here who is watching. That's why I missed my second dentist appointment of 2023. So now I'm back on schedule. I'm kind of like one cleaning off. So this is my first cleaning of 2024. And then I'll get another one later this year. I'm hoping to still get my last two implants done this year, but it's a financial thing. It's gonna cost me between four and five thousand dollars to get two more implants on the bottom. And I did get what was it, guys, six implants, I think, and a crown all together on my fixing my teeth dental journey. And I'll put a if I remember I'll put a card up here somewhere around nine minute mark. Something like that. We'll put a card up here. What is it? 858, 9. Nine minute mark. <laughs> if it matches up to my upload. Card for my dental journey playlist. Ah, fun times, fun times. You know, it sucks when you're going through it, but then you look back and you don't, I don't really remember all the pain and all the discomfort. I mean, I remember some of the pain and discomfort. I more remember the pain and the discomfort before I got my teeth fixed. And I was just telling my husband the other day, oh, was it Saturday or Sunday when we were out? I said, it's, oh, it was Saturday morning. Um, that it's so weird. My implants don't feel like implants. These feel like the teeth I've always had. Needless to say, my body is not rejecting them. I've, I've had, knock on wood, it's been a couple years, no problems with my implants. I actually got them done at St. Luke's Hospital, OBS, 
oral surgeons um, that, that it's like their offshoot of St. Luke's Hospital here in Pennsylvania. So that's another reason they're like very, very pricey. But with doing something like implants, unless you absolutely have no choice, could I cheap out and get these last two somewhere maybe cheaper? Yes. Am I going to do that? Uh, no. Uh, that's a nah. That's a nah for me, dog. I am going to Michigan for a week, so technically I could have my friend Dr. Sue do my two implants probably. Maybe I should ask her. Dr. Sue keeps offering. She wanted to do all of my teeth for me, but she is a friend of mine I've been friends with for since I met Jamie. I've known Dr. Sue for like 30 years. She's kind of like my big sister. Dr. Sue is awesome. So she went to med school with my best friend, Jamie, Dr. Jamie in Michigan. They went to Wayne State together. I think she's a year, she was a year or two, I think a year ahead of Jamie. So she graduated med school a year ahead. She went into oral surgery. Jamie went into family practice urgent care. Anyway, I have lots of friends who are doctors, which is a good thing to have. <laughs> so when I was having all my tooth problems, Dr. Sue, she'd be so frustrated because she's like, oh my God, I wish you were in Michigan. I would totally take care of you. I hate that you can't get your teeth fixed, especially for a long time. It was just the money. We had no money. That People wonder why I never got my, why I had really bad teeth. There's a bunch of reasons, and I talk about that in all my dental vlogs, so I can talk about it, but a huge part of it was just money. When I was a hairstylist in Michigan, uh, if you know anything about being a an independent contractor kind of person, so you're an independent contractor kind of person, and you're doing hair or makeup or anything like that, if you're not working somewhere corporate, maybe like Ulta or Sephora or something, um, you have to basically like buy your own insurance. It's cuckoo. It's really expensive. Oh, I think I'm going the wrong way. Okay, I had to stop for a minute. I have about three miles to go on this really pretty little windy country road. Luckily, I left super early. <laughs> One lane underpass. This, I am on like the littlest road here. Okay, so right here, now I'm all bummed out because I'm going right by this park that we love to bring the dogs to. I really need to bring Casper here and maybe, oh man, I'm driving right by. See, I wish he was with me, but I can't leave him in the car the whole time I'm sitting in the dentist. He would hate that. It's probably safe in that parking lot because you're parked literally like right outside the window. But I wouldn't do that to him. He would not know what was going on. He would be annoyed and looking for me. So there's no way. And I always say, do not leave your dog in the car if you can help it. Because people steal dogs. It's not cool. Oh my God, I totally forgot what I was talking about when I stopped. And I was like, I stopped. And now I need to see where I'm going. So as you can see, I am truly middle of nowhere. I'm driving through woods with occasionally some homes built on them and it's very hilly and it's very windy and I'm going 28 miles an hour <laughs> it's very slow I am about to hit 60,000 miles on my jeep I am at 59966 so I'm on jeep watch with when I'm gonna hit um, 60,000 it's a biggie she, it's a biggie for Miss Jeep it's a biggie I can't believe I'm almost to 60,000 miles though I want like zero miles on her. I don't know. Some people like the, oh, look how many miles I got. And they're all proud of it. Oh, I'm going everywhere. And I'm like, no, I want her to live forever. I, I love this Jeep. We will continue to have this Jeep as long as we can have this Jeep. Because she's awesome. My friend Jamie, again, Dr. Jamie in Michigan. He, uh, oh, that's what I was talking about. He has a Jeep and he just had to replace the entire transmission. And he got his, I think, right the year before I got Moxie or something. But he drives all over the universe. Anyway, so I was talking about Dr. Sue. So yeah, Dr. Sue always wanted to fix my teeth. She always wanted to. And she felt so terrible because she's like, you know, I know I can fix your teeth. And I would just do it for the cost of whatever I need to fix them because you're my friend and I hate to see you in pain. But you're in Michigan and you can... And, this was the worst part was I was here, she's there, and 
and you would think, oh, well, couldn't you go to Michigan if you can get your teeth fixed for practically free? No, because we had all the dogs. I was working at the time. We had we had no money. I couldn't even afford to travel to Michigan to get my teeth fixed for free. That's how po' folk we were, guys. Do you, don't you think that in all those years, and I don't know, seven years or something like that, I don't know, I, five to seven, something, maybe more, I would have driven or gotten to Michigan somehow if I could have for free to get my teeth fixed. I would have done that. Okay, it's very windy and I'm going to be turning soon. So I'm going to pause again because I just really need to keep, not just keep my eyes on the road, but I'm not sure where I'm going this way. I've only gone this way once. So um, I will be back as soon as I know where I'm going. Okay, I am back and I only have about another three minutes to drive. So yeah, I'm on all these little back roads. Um... So, yeah, I would have gotten my teeth fixed for free. Now that I am my own boss and my hubby and I have worked our booties off over the last 14 years to get to where we are financially, it's been a decade of hustling and hustling and really him and me hustling to support him so he can be really successful at his career. And now he's helping me be very successful at my dog doggy stylist pet stylist career we have a, that's why we have a good marriage because we're we help each other out with all that stuff and it's not just we want ourselves to be successful we want us to be successful together and also I want him to do everything he can do or that he wants to do with his career and he feels the same about me, which is awesome. If you find somebody like that, hold on to him. If you don't have somebody look like that's like that, look for someone else. If you if that's something you want in your life. I mean, some people don't care and they just they're all about the love and that's cool. But I'm a Capricorn and he's a Virgo. <laughs> yeah, if you know, you know. It self-actualization and being a success at whatever it is we're meant to do and having a partner who supports that is very important to us so we are the perfect power couple I would say Capricorn and Virgo that is a power couple you cannot mess with and cannot break up and cannot come between kind of ride or die we got each other but we did work so hard to get to where we are. And now, could we just spend $4,000 to $5,000 to get my teeth fixed? Yeah. We would have to give up doing some other stuff that we want to do. <laughs> Mostly the home repair stuff and remodeling. And are my teeth fine? Yeah. Um, do I need these two molars? Yes. Also, yes. But it's not a big rush on my molars. So, I'm going to Michigan in May, and I could talk to Dr. Sue and see if she wants to do these two implants for me, for my molars. I'm thinking about doing that. But Dr. Sue has a lot of her own health challenges going on right now. So, I don't want to take advantage, and I don't want to push it, and I don't want her to stress herself out or anything. So I think maybe I've been texting with her. I te we text all the time. Well, not as much as we would like to, but we do text. We do stay in touch. And um, so, yeah, I think maybe I will talk to her about it. But and I'll let her know what my quote is from my oral surgeon. And we'll see. And she's going to go, oh, my God. And she's going to scream at me for paying that much for all my other teeth. She knows how much it was. <gasps> I'm early and there's no one in the parking lot, so I might be able to get right in here. See, this this is so crazy. You park like right in front of the building. It kills me that I could if I wish this is another thing. Dr. Sue, her her um Chinese crested Lola who is she has Lola too, but Lola one is no longer with us. Um Lola was a therapy dog at Dr. Sue's dental office. And it was so cool. If you went there, you could have Lola sit on your lap to console and comfort you while you were getting dental work done. So I bet you anything, if I took Luna with me, Dr. Sue would let Luna just sit in the, in the chair with me while she worked on my teeth. So I don't know. 
And she knows I'm coming in May. I'm having thoughts. I've hatched an idea. I've hatched a plan. All right, well, I'm going to go in. I'm early, but there's nobody in the parking lots. So they might be able to start me early. And I will talk to you guys when I get out. And I'm going to go through town on the way home and maybe stop in town. So this might turn into a little tasting, a little stopping in town, a little something, something. It's Tuesday. It's a beautiful day. Okay, I'm going in. Bye. I am done. I am in such a good mood. <laughs> All this worrying. I'm so paranoid about my teeth now because it took so long to get here. It took so long. A lot of money, a lot of time invested. My teeth feel weird. Uh, so that sensitivity I'm talking about on the top, I was so worried I had a cavity or something going on. No. Your smart friend right here, smarty pants. I have like the the purple oral B that I spent way too much money on because it was purple on Amazon. I'm like, if I'm gonna get an Oral-B, I want it to match my Jeep so it's purple. Why does my toothbrush need to match my car, by the way? What a weirdo. This is why you watch me, because I'm weird. And it makes you feel better about all your little weird habits, right? You're not the only one. I'm here to tell you, you're not the only weird person who does weird things. I could have gotten any Oral-B toothbrush. I could have gotten a black Oral-B toothbrush that was probably $200 less than the one that they made in purple that only came in one model or brand or whatever it was. And uh, yeah, no, but I had to get the purple one. So, but I, I did justify it by saying, you know what, I'm gonna really invest in this toothbrush because I wanna have something I really like. I'm gonna use it, I'm gonna love it. Well, I use and love my toothbrush a little bit too much, and let me tell you why. Oh, sorry about that. That was a very long pause that you did not feel because I just stopped the camera. Uh, my hubby called to ask how my appointment went, and it went great. So I was saying, everything is good. Oh, my God. And my biggest problem is I'm a dummy who brushes my teeth too hard. So I have this Oral-B, and I always have it on set to intense. Now... I did not even realize that it's too much of a good thing. I'm brushing my teeth too hard. So, yeah, that's the thing I did. It's so dumb. I can't believe I did that. And I always start on this side. So I go in hard, like, ah, and right where I always start is where my, I have a little bit of root exposed because I brush too hard. So how goofy is that? How goofy is that, that I actually brushed my teeth to messing them up. So I got a fluoride treatment, which is awesome. And I can't eat or drink anything for 10 minutes, but it's been past 10 minutes. But uh, hold on, I'm getting my uh, mobile order at Dunkin'. I got a matcha latte, because I don't wanna do coffee. Okay, going to get my matcha latte. So he asked me when he was cleaning my teeth if I drink coffee. And I said, not as much as I used to. I cut way down. Hi. Hello. Ooh, that looks good. <laughs> Here you go. Thank you. Okay, you got thanks. It. Yep, got it. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. Have a great day. You too. Okay, oh my God, it smells so good in there right now. But I did not get anything to eat. And I. Wait, there's a boba tea place right here too that I always drive by. I'm gonna go around this way. So there's this boba place I was telling my husband about that I really wanna try. Is it weird that all I want is beverages right now? This matcha latte looks good, y'all. This Dunkin' makes really good matcha. Look at this. They make a good matcha latte. So I got it unsweetened with oat milk, but I did get sweetened cold cream on the top because I love the sweetened oat cream or cold cream. But you don't want to add sweetener and sweet cold cream. I am trying to lose this weight that I have gained from the dude. I really should do that video today. I should film that. I'm going to film a vloggy kind of a little video. We're going to chit chat about how some of you have been following. Last year I was doing so good. I lost like, what did I lose? Like started losing like 10 or 12 pounds. I think I had lost like 12 total. Dude went into hospice and I ate all my feelings. And now I'm just talking about it. Wait, why am I just talking about it? 
So this place is called Secret Tea House. They're not open right now. Crap. It's not open at the moment. It's probably too early. Anyway, Secret Tea House, it's right there. I want to go to this place so badly. They have boba. They have all kinds of crazy little snacks and things. It just looks really good. So I am back on the watching what I eat weight loss. Also, we're going into another year of taking care of these. My biggest investment in my life financially. I shouldn't say mine. I should say my husband's because he's the one who made this possible. So shout out to the greatest husband on the planet who I literally cried on him and hugged him and cried because, and I talk about it in my dental blogs, like he made it possible and paid for me to get my teeth fixed. So that is literally the greatest gift anyone could give you in my opinion like I don't want jewelry I don't want all that but fix my teeth I'm gonna take a little sip of my water I got my water my it's my hydro flask we love the hydro flask um so this is my first time getting a fluoride treatment never got one before well I did years ago when I was a kid I always got fluoride treatments but this is the first time at this dentist since I got my teeth all almost finished and my implants done and everything so we talked about uh getting my last two implants at this appointment so it would improve my bite because right now I have two molars on the top that don't have anything to line up against on the bottom I'm missing two molars exactly right here if I squeeze I can feel like this kind of indents so the molars on the top don't have anything to grind up against to match up to which is why I really need these two implants on the bottom and nobody really will even see them but me you kind of little I go you can't no you can't right right there and those are what's missing and right, uh, right there so I need those two but it is not a cosmetic thing it is so that my bite is improved and when I chew on food your molars are what grinds together and breaks things down and my molar has no other molar to match up to and go crunch 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 and eat food with it's like a molar and gum on the bottom so eventually my dentist was saying my molars on the top it's gonna be a problem I could actually lose my molars on the top from not having a proper bite and something to bite against it's just it's gonna be a long time he said it's a, it would be a long time before that happened but it's not something I want to happen I'm trying to keep my last my molars on the top because those are all I have all of them I had my wisdom teeth taken out, but I had my molars on the top. My bottom ones are the ones that were all messed up because of grinding my teeth. It's a long story. Go watch my dental vlogs. Anyway, so I do want to get those done. I just talked to my husband on the phone and I said, look, I think it's been a couple of years. I think it's time. Um, I, we are, I have an appointment. So I do. I did have this one little cavity. Like I said, we're gonna get that fixed, and uh, that cavity will get fixed on, in May, first week of May. I'm going in to get this done, and it, he's like, "It'll be really quick. It'll be really easy. It's the tiniest thing." Last year it was just like a little shadow, and he said, "I think that's a cavity starting. There's a little shadow there. Let's keep an eye on it. It's not worth messing with right now." Blah blah blah. I talked about that. So we kind of kept an eye on it. It's definitely forming a little bit more of a cavity now. So we're going to nip it in the bud and fix it. And there's one next to it. It's it's not on the, it's like between my teeth too. It's kind of where you would like floss. So that seems to be where I have the biggest problem with cavities is on the sides of my teeth. So getting that fixed in May. And then I don't have another dentist appointment until my cleaning in October. Are you, do you even care? Does, okay, if my, if the awesome guy who worked on my teeth today is watching this, he probably cares. Nobody else, I don't do care. Sitting here talking about my teeth. Let's talk about my teeth for a half an hour. So, he was saying the fluoride treatment would help with this, and it lasts for six months, so it'll last till my next cleaning. So, for an extra 25 bucks, I'm like, do the fluoride treatment. I don't care. My stupid um, insurance didn't pay for it. I'm like, I don't care, whatever. With how much we spent on my implants, $25 is uh, to, to keep my teeth in good condition. 
this is an investment now, so of course I'm going to do it. I mean, if it was $50, I would have done the fluoride treatment. Listen, if Dr. Stella or anyone at my dental office is watching, that does not mean that you can charge me $50 for my fluoride and keep the extra $25. But I'm bumps. But, yeah, I'm 25 is, I know that some people would be like, oh my God, I can't do that. And that, that sucks. That would suck to be in that situation. But as I said, me and my hubby worked our butts off to get where we are. So with, take, if we can invest in our health, take money and invest in our health, especially with teeth, things like that, we go and do it. You know what I just realized? Investing in health, I want to go to the gym. I want to go to the gym today. I want to go like right now. But Casper's in his crate. I'm going to go home and let Casper out. Um, I'm going to hang out with the dogs for a little bit. Do some stuff around the house. And I'm going to go to the gym this afternoon. I hate that. I want to go now. And actually with what I'm wearing, I could go to the gym and work out with what I'm wearing. I'm just wearing like stretch pants. And I have my Topo running shoes on. And I have a little hoodie on. I I kind of look like a gym rat. I got a got a beanie on. I could go be a gym rat. But I do want to go let Casper out of his crate and take him outside. Let him go potty. He ate before I put him in there. So I don't want to leave him in there for like four hours or something. I've been gone about two hours and ten minutes. So he's not in his crate very long. And he did eat. I fed him, then he came out, ran around for a little bit, went potty, then he went back in his crate and I gave him a chewy bone. So I'm going to let him out, hang out with them. And I think maybe this afternoon, like around two-ish, maybe two o'clock-ish, uh, he's going to have to pop back in his crate for a bit and I will go to the gym. Speaking of investing in my health, could I work out at home? Yes, I could. Am I going to? No. I'll wait. In the next three days, it's supposed to rain every day. So, it is kind of nice out today, though. Should I? Wait. Maybe should I not go to the gym and just take him for a hike? Because we could do that. <gasps> that might be better. Or I could take him for a hike, and then I could go to the gym tonight. So, I could do both. I could do splits. Are you familiar with splits? Splits is when you work out twice a day. You do something in the morning. You do something else in the evening. It is um, kind of for people. I used to do a lot of bodybuilding. It is something you can do with uh, when you're really trying to lose a lot of weight, which I need to do a little bit faster. A lot of movie stars do it when they're training for movies and they need to get in shape really fast. Basically, you do splits. You do one thing in the morning, something else at night. So splits for me when I would do them... I think I'm going to go back into doing this as cardio in the morning. So I'd either go for a bike ride in the morning, go running, go for a walk, go for a hike, do that stuff in the morning. And then the evening I would go do weightlifting and no running, no cardio, just lift weights in the evening. I'm thinking about starting that to see how it works for me because everybody's different. That won't work for everyone. For me, splits work great. I do the cardio in the early part of the day. It gets me moving. You're not you're not spending hours and hours at the gym or wherever. Plus in the morning, it's nice out. It's cooler out. If I want to go for a hike, I can go walk, do whatever I'm going to do, go for a run in the morning, especially as it starts getting warmer out. I don't want to be out running in the heat of the day, hottest part of the day. So I can go get up early, take Casper running or for a hike, come home, do everything I need to do, work, if I have dogs scheduled that day for doggy hairstyles, I will be doing that and then do everything. And then the evening, I just have my workout schedule where I go do whatever I need to do that day, whether it's... I have to work out my, my routine at the gym, though, because, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be doing the straight up bodybuilding again where I'm doing back... I'll be doing abs pretty much every day. <laughs> uh, back, leg day, arm day, chest day, shoulders. You know, chest, shoulders, arms, back, legs. Leg day is my favorite. I love leg day. A lot of people hate leg day. I love leg day. I love back and shoulder, and I love legs. 
Um, I really love legs, so legs are my favorite workout. It's just doing everything I love to do, and I think that's my Capricorn, too. We're climbers, we're mountain goats. I love having super muscular legs. That's the one thing I miss. I don't think I miss so much. I love, uh, I loved when I was at my my leanest when I was doing my ultra marathons a few years ago, more than a few years ago, many years ago. Now the time is going by too fast. They are way back in my rear view mirror now, and we need to bring them back in the mirror. I want to start training and maybe in the fall do an ultra marathon. So I think what I want to do is just start getting Casper out. Now I have Casper too to go hiking with me so we can start doing fast hikes. I'm not going to be running. I'm going to probably run walk. I did talk about maybe vlogging it. So I may do some test footage with him and take my GoPro. And I have a GoPro that clips onto my running vest. I have a running vest that's a hydration vest. And I have a little Velcro thingy and my GoPro mounts to it. It's pretty cool. So I can actually film where I'm walking and where we're hiking. So it's really pretty because it'll be along the Delaware River pretty much. And there's trails around here I really like with waterfalls and rivers and general prettiness. As you can hear, we're going back up my mountain, so I'm going to be home in a minute. But yeah, I kind of want to get out and do something today. You know, it is a better day to not go to the gym because it's going to rain the next three days. So I think today we'll go do an outside walkie day. Walkie hikey. And then, where can I take Casper to hike today? Where do we want to go? I'm going to figure it out. Well, I'll get home and I'll check in on everybody. And I'm going to change, get dressed to go for a hike. And then, I'll take him out. And then, yeah, I think later on I'll go to the gym and do a workout. Like a muscle, a bodybuilding workout. Not a workout like, I'm not going to be on an elliptical. I'm not going to be on a treadmill or a bike. It's just going to be go to the gym, lift weights. So that will be pretty cool. I mean, I might get on the treadmill just for like a half a mile just to get my cardio up and it kind of pumps you up to lift. So I might pump it, pumps you up. Who remembers that? We're going to pump you up. Oh my God, I'm so showing my age. If you don't know what that's from, if you know what it's from, you are my age years old or older, or somewhere around there, or you like classic comedy late night TV. Anyway, I'm almost home, so I'm going to focus on getting on my road. This is, we're going to go through deer area, but thank you for riding along with me. If I didn't finish any of my stories, I apologize. I'm all over the place, but yeah, I was originally going to go through town and maybe stop some places. Then I got the fluoride treatment, and now I don't want to eat a bunch of bad stuff or, oh, shit, Ooh. My last crumb cookies are getting delivered today. <gasps> Guys, I got the $12,000 cookies. Okay, to be fair, it was April Fool's Day, but I did order the $12,000 cookies. So you're going to have to come back to see those. And then after that, I'm going to brush my teeth like crazy, but not too hard. Don't brush your teeth too hard, but brush your teeth. Make sure you floss. I was told my gums were very pink and looked extremely healthy. Everything looks great. I got an A report card except for my one little cavity that's been there. We've been watching it, so I don't count that. Um, my only downside is I was just brushing a little bit too hard. And if that's the only thing I did wrong, then I'm happy about that. Anyway, I hope you have a great day. Thanks for riding along with the little vlog. I am going to be recording a lot this week. I'm happy I can finally catch up on some things. Again, I only have one dog coming for a haircut this week and it's on Friday. So I'm going to probably try to pre-film something to put up that day. I will see you later on. Thanks for watching. Thanks for riding along with me. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't. And I will see you in the next one. Not looking at the camera because i got to watch the road. Bye!